So we're just about to leave the hospital. What an amazing 24 hours it's been. Um, Rosie was amazing. She's done hypnobirthing, so she was super calm, super relaxed. And I saw the baby coming out. And uh, it was amazing. I'm a father to a daughter. And a big thank you to everyone who's sending all the lovely messages over on Instagram and Facebook. It really means a lot. We're going to go home now, relax, chill out, and um, enjoy our first day at home as a family. One thing I've learned about being a dad already, there is no day or night. I'm outside in my pants, getting a barbecue ready to cook up a steak because it's dinner time. Right, so last night was a little bit more challenging. A um, bit more breastfeeding, a bit more crying, but we got through it. I think the key to it is just to stay calm and yeah, just try and be patient and just understand that she's gonna latch on eventually. So even though I'm feeling a bit tired today, a little bit jet lagged and super thirsty, the most important thing for me is to keep exercising because it gives me energy. So the baby's having a little nap. I'm out in the garden with Dom, just about to film a little 20 minute workout to maintain my energy and yeah, get some healthy food in me and my. Good morning from the baby coach house. We've kind of established that she's a little bit nocturnal. So between sort of 12 and 6 a.m. she's on the boob, she's doing well, but she's just, yeah, hungry all through the night. Because apparently the colostrum, which is the kind of milky stuff that comes out, is the best during that time. But in the same way that Rosie prepared for the birth with hypnobirthing, we were totally prepared for this. We knew this was gonna be a tough few days settling in. So it's just about accepting that this is them, learning their environment. They've been in the womb for nine months. We can't expect them to come out and just sleep on our time and sleep when we wanted to. When the baby was born, who we still haven't named yet, we're struggling, I played this really, really chilled playlist I found on Spotify. It's like acoustic guitar, it's sort of relaxation, spa, massage sort of stuff. I'll show you it in the next snap. If you want someone to help you sleep at night or when you go into labour, check it out. It's probably the most challenging night yet in terms of um, the baby waking up sort of every hour to 90 minutes, wanting to feed, wanting to cuddle, um, and then Rosie would sort of put her down and she'd sort of wake up again. So um, we've got into a good little routine though, where in the morning I get Rosie to give her a really big feed. Rosie will give her a really big feed about 8 or 9 in the morning um, and that sort of knocks her out for a couple of hours so I can bring her downstairs, have a little walk about in uh, my pants and baby carrier and Rosie can catch up on a couple of hours sleep so it's just teamwork, like a bit of a relay, it's making a massive The thing I'm really learning quickly is that you can get all the advice in the world from so many people, from the midwives, from your mum, your dad, your cousins, but only you will really know your baby and you can't really go wrong if you just listen to the baby and do what you feel is right. That's the reality. The thing I'd just like to clear up quickly is that everything I'm sharing at the moment is coming from a place of love. I would never want to make anyone feel like they're not doing a good job because we're all individual parents and um, I just basically want to share my experience and hopefully inspire you, lift you up and um, give you a little bit of positivity for the day.